73 to you, Lloyd. Have a great day. And my regards to everybody on the net. This is KI4HEE. Thank you, Bob. Have a good day. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Anybody else? A lot of fun checking into the uh, nets all over on the HF. It's a lot of fun just doing a lot of radio. But I'll tell you what's even more fun, and that's getting to play with a brand new radio that just now come out. This one showed up in my mailbox the other day. The Bofang UV82HP, which uh, is the high power version of the 82 series. Great little radio, and we're going to take it through its paces. The box came packed with the radio, a 2800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, a high gain antenna, desk charger with a wall wart, an optional belt clip, optional wrist strap, and a dual push to talk earpiece. It's identical to the Bofang workhorse, the UV82, with the big difference being three power settings with 8 watts, the advertised maximum power output. LED screen and the keypad is large and well illuminated and the big plus is the flashlight with the added reflector and lens really throwing out a beam. The radio has two push to talk buttons, one for each of the dual watch dual receive banks. You can actually talk on one frequency or another simply with a press of a button. The radio's fit and feel is impressive. It's got substance to it. But because of its slim form factor, there's not a problem with it clipped to a pants pocket. It's not a bulky brick. This year's Ham Radio Field Day, I took the radio and got it in the hands of as many hams as I could for their feedback. They like the fit and finish of the radio, but they really do like that added power. KI4HEEHT. I was at work testing the high power output of the UV82HP along with my two UV5Rs. Standing out in front of my office, I accessed the Dillon repeater, the W4PDE repeater just outside of Dillon, South Carolina. I was able to access that repeater just fine with the UV82HP. My two UV5Rs, unfortunately, couldn't make the trip. All told, 57 miles distance from where I was at to the repeater. Later on that evening, I hit that same repeater again, but at a much shorter 50 miles, and with both UV5Rs again not able to cut the mustard. In my testing, I found out what bugs the radio had were all external. But those of you who know me know how much I appreciate my little UV5R handheld radio. It's a great little performer, and for an entry-level ham just now starting out in the hobby and really doesn't have a whole lot of money to spend, this has got the most bang for the buck. But if you're ready to step up to a good, robust radio that has the power to reach out and get into the distant repeaters, as well as offer some of the refined features, you can't go wrong with the UV82HP. Bofang has done a good job with this line. It's a very good middle-of-the-road performer, and I can't recommend it higher. So check it out the next time you're online, the UV82HP.